Hi, welcome to the vlog. Brandon Gamble here. And today I'm bringing the F2 repertoire for the Bassi Pilates Comprehensive Program. Now the F2 repertoire is endless. There's tons and tons of exercises and moves that you can do. It's absolutely amazing equipment to use. I invite you to do the F2 workshop at some point, but for today it's just the repertoire and the Bassi Comprehensive Program. So for those of you students who are needing to do a little refresher, this is perfect for you. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like what you see, smash that like button and hit subscribe to become a part of the Pilates Live channel. Thanks again. Let's move. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do the F2 repertoire and the Bassi Pilates Comprehensive Program. I've got a very special guest for you today. My model is the amazing, you all know her. Stella! Yay! <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hey. So Stella's going to be my model today. We're going over just the repertoire that's in the Bassi Pilates Comprehensive Program. Again, there's a lot of repertoire. I encourage you to take the workshop if you have the opportunity, but for today, it's just the repertoire that you need to know for those exams. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Here we go. We're going to start with the intermediate warm-up. Do you know your setting? Is it probably about there yeah, for you? That's okay. Fine. So make sure when you're doing roll-up with extension, there is a little bit of support for the head. The neck should cradle that beautiful contour really nicely. I'm taking the levers to seven. Please be sure you're very gentle with these. They're very easy to move. You just have to be able to move them comfortably. I'm giving her the handles, which are the short yellows. She's in a beautiful position. I want you to note the feet here. They're in a really nice dorsiflex position. And as she rolls down, they're naturally gonna come away from the chair, but she's gonna stay plantar flexed as she rolls through to keep that connection, to keep that tactile feedback to the chair. She's in a beautiful extended position. And from here we go into that beautiful seated C curve. You can see she's really nailed that. Head in line of the spine, don't lose that. Head should always be in the line of the spine. As we roll back, we might be a little, uh, we're a little short. We're a little short, yeah. Oh, yes. It feels great like this. <laughs> Come into your C-curve and roll up. But we really want to make sure we have a little support for the head. So we're going to move this back just a little bit and come forward. Let's try that. This is the beauty about this apparatus. The contours are amazing. So play with those adjustments. Have a good time with them. See what feels best for you. As she rolls back, again, you can see she's connected to the chair. Now we're looking good. That head's gonna just come into contact. Oh, do we need a little bit more? Are you good there? I'm good. Oh, we're good, okay. Chin to the chest, please do not drag your head up. Recreate that C curve and roll back up. Now the beauty of this is you can come to the same range that you have in the mat work. Inhale, exhale down. She keeps that connection. Nice stretch back. If you want to be kind to your client, you can give them a gentle tactile stretch on the shoulders. Inhale, into your C curve. Don't drag your head. Reestablish that link first. Exhale, roll up. We'll do one more. Beautiful line, Stella. Inhale, exhale down. Stella and I just recently shared an online map program and she outshined me, <laughs> inhale your seeker, by a million. Her background was incredible. By the way, we're sitting here in the beautiful Newport Beach, California headquarters. That was awesome. There's your roll up. We're gonna take these and just kind of, oh, we're gonna go right into the mini roll up, sorry. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees, put your feet against the edge. We go right into the mini roll ups. Inhale, back. Exhale, up. Now the thing I love about the mini roll-ups on the F2, opposed to the Cadillac, is the range of motion. You get to a certain place on the Cadillac and the range of motion has to shorten because your spine will actually come out of that C-curve or that uh, mini roll-up position. Here, utilize the full range of motion, pulling all the way to your starting position and just touching and exhale. And inhale, single breath pattern. As mentioned before, we're in the beautiful New Newport Beach, California studio headquarters, BASI BPA USA. 
Always excited to be here. Note the arms, she's doing a great job on keeping those arms horizontal to the floor. You can change the dynamics of the exercise if the arms come up or down. So be sure you keep that line right there. Beautiful, we're gonna go into mini roll-up obliques. You're gonna take one handle and just rest it on the F2. Rotate to the other position. Now note the position it puts you in, it's perfect. The nose is in line with the sternum. She's still in her seated C curve. The arms find the line of that spring. She rolls down. This is a little more challenging. So work on that neutral pelvic position. Pelvic lumbar stability throughout the movement. Inhale down. Exhale up. Really nice. She's making this look easy. Give yourself a good little ground, a good little prehensile grounding into the contour of the machine. Again, the contours of this machine are beautiful so for so many different things. We'll stop it there. We're gonna come up. I'm gonna give her the other one. Or if you're by yourself, you'll just switch and drop the strap down. Very nice alignment. And we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale down, exhale up. Stella again, making this look really easy. Good, nice correction. Not easy to keep that pelvic stability as you're doing this rotated movement. Again, similar to the Cadillac, but you've got a lot more range of motion. It's really nice. And we'll do one more. So the intermediate F2 chair warm-up is roll-up with extension, mini roll-ups, mini roll-up obliques, and then we'll finish off with some spine twist supine. I'm going to take these handles there. She's going to flip her body around. Have a lie down. You like them back or you like them up? Yeah. This is a good stretch right here. So I'm moving the levers down one between that one and seven position. And it's a good stretch. So be sure that you're communicating with your client to make sure it's comfortable and it doesn't feel like it's too much for them. And you can see if the ribs start flaring, but she looks great. She's nice and flat. We're always looking for that head position, shoulder position, rib cage position, pelvic lumbar position, okay? Right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop, either one, always one at a time. Just like you do in the mat work, spine twist supine, but we've got this beautiful stretch now. We inhale to me, and exhale to center. I want you to imagine that waist is like a washcloth, and you're just wringing that washcloth out. The lower body is one unit, moving as one. The upper body is still staying as one. If you feel or see one shoulder coming off, you know you're moving too much. If you feel your knees veering from one another, you know the legs at the hip joint are moving, not from the waist. As you can see, she's got this beautiful connection to both legs equally and evenly. There's no rotation, there's no shifting of the knees. One more to the left. And we come back to center. Put each foot down one at a time. So be very careful, this is a big stretch. Always encourage your clients or yourself to bring your arms out very slowly, round them a little bit, give them a little stretch because that can be hard on your shoulders, okay? So that is the intermediate F2 chair warm up. And next we're gonna go into the arm series. Ready? I'm ready. Nice too. job. Thank you, wow. We're gonna open just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We can take these off. I prefer just to kind of have them out of the way. She's gonna have a sit. We take this to lever three. This is the F2 arm series. It is and mimics the seated arm series. So what is the seated arm series? Extension, biceps, rhomboids, but this is a different position of rhomboids. We flip around, we do hug a tree, salute. So it's easy to remember, also easy to transfer from one machine to the next. Okay, so we grab a hold of the straps. Should have had some more water. Feeling parched. <laughs> Chest expansion, just as if you were doing it on the reformer. We start just anterior of the pelvis. We inhale, exhale, pull back. Nice, inhale forward. 
really nice opportunity for you to create this beautiful posture here. Keep those shoulders above the hips. Be sure you're co-contracting from abdominals to back extensors, long arms. Each time you bring those hands back to your forward position, reestablish that link of the elbow, that long line of the arm. Beautiful posture, Stella. So from here, we're gonna go to biceps. I'm gonna take that lever back to seven. Again, you can do this very easily, but you don't wanna force these through. If it gets stuck, just jiggle it a little bit. It'll go right into position. Palms face up. You wanna keep those arms as if they're sitting on top of a shelf. Ribs engaged, back extensors engaged, beautiful posture she's created, and she exhales. Now note the wrist. She's doing a great job keeping the alignment of the wrist. A lot of people, as they pull, they'll drag their wrist back a little bit. Keep that engagement. My client calls this the unisat. <laughs> So if this is the tricep, and this is the bicep, and this is the quadricep, this must be the unicep. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's Linda, I'll, I'll give that one to Linda, she's a card. <laughs> Exhale, bicep curl, inhale out. Good, now rhomboids is different. If you're on the reformer, you're doing your rhomboids one and two here. Here you're doing rhomboids one and two from a pole. Shoulder scapula stabilization, rhomboids one, exhale back right to that shoulder line. That was excellent. You can tell Stella's been practicing the work. Getting ready for you. Ah, beautiful. Can we go a little higher with the elbows? Nice. She managed that absolutely no problem. If you request your client to come a little higher with the elbow and you see them starting to get into the traps or the scapula elevates a little bit, they're just not ready to go to that level. Rhomboids two, you hold that rhomboids one position, pull the humerus back just a tad with the scapula and then come back to your starting position. So as you can see, it's not a big movement. We exhale to here, the humerus comes a little bit with the glide of the scapula, and then we come forward. Two more, please. Wow, really nice, Stella. Again, note the wrist position. It's not cocking from side to side. It's not curling up and down. Awesome. And that is rhomboids two. She's gonna flip her body around, sit here. This is an excellent opportunity for your clients who may be a little deconditioned or they're elderly. They're just not able to sit up on that reformer yet. I don't like using a box. I don't like elevating the client. I wanna bring the client to the F2 chair and let them feel the work and create that stability before they go to the reformer. We go to um, hug a tree, T position, palms face forward. Now, she's got this beautiful tactile feedback. You can use that feedback. Abdominals in, neutral spine, exhale together. Inhale, open. And you wanna make sure you're coming through just to about shoulder width apart. Awesome. Pulling from the pec, pulling from the anterior deltoid, using that whole shoulder girdle to work and hug a tree. Very, very minute micro bend in the elbows. That's it. You do not want a big bend in the elbows. Technically, you want to be as straight as you can, but that micro bend will keep that deep core contraction between bicep and tricep. From here, she goes to salute. Salute. Thumbs to the temples. You keep those thumbs head width apart as those arms shoot out along the same line that that hand is created. Inhale, bend, exhale down. And what I love about this chair is I can sit back here, give her a little tactile feedback to relax those traps. So the energy is coming from the triceps, not from the elevation of the shoulders. And you see how she's creating that line, that diagonal line that this hand here has created? That is perfection. And last one. 
From here, I'm gonna have her arms come up. You can bring the head back if you want for a lovely little stretch. Oh, we've gotta be kind to our clients once in a while. <laughs> and I'll take the straps and we're done. So those are the only exercises that are in the Bassi Pilates Comprehensive Program Graduate and Foundation. It's the Intermediate Warm-Up F2 Chair Intermediate Arm Series. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna come right back at you with the F2 Step Barrel. Thank you. Okay, so we're back here with the F2 Step Barrel. I love this piece of apparatus. It's just unsurpassable. It's got so much repertoire you can do on it. Again, I wholeheartedly encourage you to join the F2 workshop when you get a chance. So the repertoire that's in the Bassi Pilates Comprehensive Program is, that was good, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> is, <laughs> re <laughs> yeah. is reach, 100 prep, teaser prep, we're gonna go into rollovers. We'll, we'll do those after the hip work, yeah. And the hip work, the supine series of the hip series on the F2 step barrel is amazing. I love it, it's one of my favorite. So here we go, we're gonna start with reach. Okay, so here we are with the reach. I'm gonna take the levers to number three. Hands are out in front, knees are bent, feet are flat. There's a little bit of tension on the strap. The thing I like about this, the difference from this reach to the reach with the standard step barrel is that we get that beautiful thoracic extension. So here we go. As she exhales and returns, she lengthens her legs out simultaneously, <laughs> finding that line. And right here, those springs just provide a little bit of feedback and stretch. I'm just adjusting that and exhale up. Pause, inhale. Exhale, reach. The legs simultaneously slide out as the body reaches. As the body reaches back. Now, this is that beautiful thoracic extension. From here, as you exhale and you're pulling those knees in, it's like a pelvic curl. The lower abdominals have the opportunity to connect to that movement. Inhale, exhale down. Again, this equipment is unsurpassable. A little more stretch with those shoulders, Stella. A little more, a little more, a little more. That's what you want. Ah, oh, inhale. And as you exhale, don't drag the head, pull through. And as you can see, that's a little more challenge with those springs. That was lovely. So, we're gonna take the tension off the springs. I'm gonna go to lever seven, 400 prep, and teaser prep. Now note, when you're in the back position, you're not gonna have full range of motion in the arms. So only bring the arms back to where the springs maintain their integrity or their tension, okay? Hands are out in front, come back. And here we have this beautiful extension over the box again, okay? Nice position of the feet. And we can maybe go back a little more. There we go. So just not at 90 degrees of the shoulders, but a little bit beyond is where you'll keep a little tension on those springs. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, head, chest, and sh shoulders come through. And this right here is just dynamic. I mean, it is dynamic. You're using that spring. Keep the lumbar attached to the barrel. And return. Single breath pattern. Exhale up. Ooh, Stella, you're looking great today. Inhale, return. Use that breath pattern to create a rhythm for the movement. If you're breathing too fast, exhale up. You're moving too fast. If you're using several breath patterns in one movement, you're moving too slow. Inhale. Exhale back. Oh, that's a double breath pattern. I lied. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> One more correct breath pattern. Exhale up. Inhale, return. Really nice. And from here, we're going to go into teaser prep. She's actually going to take a little pressure off the springs, so bend your elbows, and scoot down a little bit. You want to make sure that sacrum is right here down on the edge of the uh, barrel, almost as if you're going to fall off the edge of the barrel. You want to go a little more? There. There you go. Long legs. Again, 
I've got the real cramp going in my foot <laughs> every time I'm here. You want a little tension on the springs. You know if I take them back, notice if I take them back, they're slacked. So you want to make sure you keep that little bit of tension on the springs, maintaining that shoulder scapula stabilization. She's got a great rib position, great pelvic position, nice long legs. We inhale to prepare. We exhale, the legs come up. She comes into her C curve and we come right to there. That is beautiful, Stella. Inhale, return. Find your line. That's it, exhale up. Beautiful, try to hit that line. Inhale, return. I don't have that flexibility, but Stella does and she's making it look great. Keep those ribs engaged, no cramping in your foot. Now she's got the cramp. <laughs> I got the foot cramp, now she's got the rail foot cramp. Exhale up. I think he gives it to us. I think he does. He leaves that foot cramp energy in here. Keep those arms right here parallel to the floor and legs at 90 degrees or perpendicular if you can get them there and return to your starting position. Oh, guys, we've got the F2 high swan. This one is amazing. This just allows that li little extra bit of extension to the back, that little gentle press of the arms. I absolutely love this exercise and Stella's gonna kill this one. So we're gonna go to your stomach. For most people, your knees are going to be just below the contour of the barrel. Your tummy's lying on the barrel. Your feet are flexed and anchored to the floor. The hands go on the F2, and as you notice, I've taken the uh, straps and springs off. You don't need them for this one. Now, we come over the contour of the barrel. We have our elbows kicked out just a little bit, so they're kind of following, excuse me, the line of the spine and the line of the shoulders. Beautiful. As we inhale, we utilize and initiate from the back extension, the back extensors. As we start to lengthen, we point those toes, keep those hip extensors active and reach those arms out and find that length, keeping the head in line with the spine. As we exhale, we return to the starting position, dorsiflexing the feet, anchoring them to the floor. Inhale, extend, abdominals are stabilizing, initiating through the back extensors, moving through the back extension. Every exercise, as you can remember, has initiators, stabilizers, movers, or stabilizers, initiators, movers. <laughs> One more. Inhale, up. Notice how she's creating this reverse articulation from the crown of the head, through the cervical spine, through the lumbar spine, finding that length and lift, and then we exhale, reverse that articulation back down over the contour of the barrel. And we just relax for a moment, we take those arms down, let your body just kind of feel that barrel and give it a little treat. Anytime you're doing back extension, follow up with a little rounding just to allow that back to stretch. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We've got a couple more exercises left. We've got the hip series, which is frog openings in uh, external rotation. Then we go to parallel, we do scissors and helicopters. And then we're gonna follow it up with the rollover. It's the last two exercises. Again, this is just the repertoire in the Bassi Pilates comprehensive program. And this is just what you'll be examined on. Please, please take that F2 workshop. It's amazing. It's got tons and tons more repertoire. Okay, so be very careful as you're coming over the contour of the barrel. As she comes back, she lets her body find the contour. She grabs the handles and puts her feet up and just kind of glides back. You don't want your client or yourself to come down onto that pad in a harsh position. The neck and shoulders should be comfortable. The sacrum should be towards the apex of the barrel and we're ready to go. She brings her legs up. The levers are set on the bottom position. I'm going to help her with her straps. If you're practicing this work on your own, you sit on the edge of the chair, put your straps in, and then come over the edge. But if you've got a guide here or someone to help you, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> And I really love the Bassi system straps. They've got this nice little cinch. You don't have to make it tight. It just kind of snugs that strap around the foot. Legs come straight up. 
Now what I like to do is show what that perpendicular position feels like to the person that's doing this work and maybe even have them mark their toes in the ceiling so they know when they're coming back to that center position they're hitting that nice perpendicular position. So we start with frog, we're in gentle external rotation of the hip joint. You want the feet plantar flex but relaxed. The energy doesn't come from the strap, it comes from the core and the hips. We bend, inhale, and as you can see, the feet just follow that line. Exhale, Stella's been doing great, practicing this work. So I can tell that hip's a little mm -hmm. tight, move that hip down just a little bit, there you go. Inhale, bend. Are you cramping again? No. Okay, relax that foot. We've been uh, <laughs> we've been getting the rail cramp. It just it just happens to our foot. It's I think our uh, empathy for yes. his four feet once in a while. Exhale, lengthen. So from here we go into openings. Again, the first two exercises are external rotation. The second two are parallel. We inhale, open. And again, this equipment is just unsurpassed. It feels great. But be sure you use your leg weights and regular step barrel to begin to get yourself acclimated. This is the next level. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale and exhale and inhale. So we started with frog, we went to openings, now we're going to parallel and we do scissors. It's exhale, exhale, just like any scissors, the mat, any of the repertoire we do, we're trying to find and create that nice, even position. Equal hip flexor, hamstring connection here. You don't want that martini glass spilling this way. You don't want that martini glass spilling this way. And exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. We go into helicopter. Five in one direction, five in the other. We'll start with the right. We inhale back to that even line. Exhale around evenly and equally and center. Inhale, exhale. And center. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna stop at three repetitions and move on just for the sake of time. Come back to center and here we go. Reverse direction. Try to keep that movement equal. Stella's being very conservative with her movement. I know she's got more flexibility than that, but I also know she's really working on that pelvic lumbar stability. Beautiful, Stella. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And center. Very nice. From here, we're gonna bend the knees and just rest for a moment. We're gonna give her a little break because she's gonna go into one of her least favorite exercises, the rollover. <laughs> but she is doing awesome at these. You've got this. Thank you. Okay, so that was the hip series. Again, frog, openings, scissors, and helicopter. <laughs> I almost said bicycle. <laughs> So the last one of the repertoire is the rollover. This is a really challenging exercise, so if you're not ready for it, practice that mat work first. Let's bring the legs straight up, and then we're gonna come down to that diagonal line. Now, this is challenging in and of itself. Holding with those lower abdominals as you hold this line. We inhale to perpendicular. We exhale, roll over, keeping the back against that barrel. Inhale, dorsiflex open, maximize that stretch. Wow, Stella, and this is not your least favorite exercise anymore. <laughs> Back to your starting position. Notice how she pointed around midway. Take those feet from dorsiflexion back into your uh, plantar flexion. Inhale to 90 or perpendicular. Exhale over. Inhale, flex open, stretch and exhale down. Just like the rollover, try not to compromise the position of the pelvis just for range of motion. Only pull into that hamstring stretch as far as you feel comfortable and then come back and through. Again, we strive for perfection, yet we honor intention. If the intention is there, woo, Stella! You're doing great. 
Wow, you practiced that one a lot, didn't you? Bend your knees and come on out. Thanks again for joining these videos. I hope you like what you see. Please smash that like button and hit subscribe to become a part of the Pilates Live channel. Thanks again, be kind, and have a great day.